out here getting the horses nice and forward. They've already, as I said, trod from canter both ways, so we will skip right ahead to canter and show you that. So you're looking at a two beat gait right here in the trot. Now they're gonna move up to the canter, which is three beats. What I mean by that is with the feet hit the ground in every stride three times. So in the trot, it's one, two, and the canter, it's one, two, three. So what we're looking at here is a nice little working canter. The riders are sitting down. So when you are uh, starting your horses and riding them on the flat, riders ride in a very vertical position while sitting in attack. But when they go cross country, because you are going high speeds and the course can take it, at the lower levels you're already looking at five minutes. At the upper levels you're looking at 11 minutes of galloping and just being out on course. So the horses have to be very fit and you have to allow them to conserve their energy. So to go up to a little gallop, everyone's gonna get off the horses' backs, give them total freedom of their backs, and they're gonna go forward. So these horses are uh, showing us a gallop, it's as much of a gallop as we can show inside. How the gallop changes from the canter is it becomes a four beat gait. The last foot, uh, instead of going in pairs, the feet all step down separately. You're not gonna see that because it's quite fast, but that's the gallop. Come on, come on. There we go. And you're going to notice they all have slightly different styles, but everyone has come off the back and put their hands forward and down. Christine's kind of opened her fingers a bit and let the reins get longer. The point of this is to allow your horse freedom on its head and neck so it can lower its neck for balance and it can be efficient in the gallop. And then neither you nor the horse get too tired. Very good. Let's come back to a smaller canter. And when you see that canter, you're going to see them sit back down. Or, or we may have some little moments where they break the trot, but they're going to fix that and get the canter back. Okay, show me a smaller canter, even smaller. So this adjustability is crucial for eventers. So you're going to see that this black horse here has maybe slightly uh, larger ranges in, in his canter. He can make a bigger step and a smaller step happen. He's competing at a bit of a higher level than these two, and as they move up the levels, they gain that adjustability. So he has you know, a big gallop and a very on-the-spot canter.